live video and we are live on Facebook coming to you from the next UK city of culture Coventry so here we go we're just gonna give it a, a bit of a ding to start us off with there and then we're just gonna share it into a few groups okay so we're just gonna share into a few groups that we know in Coventry and then we're gonna start today's history lesson on uh, history lesson on the uh, the local uh, local situation that happened today in this day in history okay and it was a Tudor day on this day in history because on the 25th of March uh, this day in history what happened was Queen Elizabeth the first came to Coventry okay Queen Elizabeth the first came to Coventry well, she didn't come to the Coventry on this day. She actually died on this day. Um, and she died in 1603 on the 25th of March. I'm just sharing it into a number of groups here so that people can see and share and um, love it. But you get a lot of arguments between the medieval guys and the Tudor guys. So I'm just sort of sharing it into a number of groups. And then we're going to start today's lesson um so we're looking at queen elizabeth died today end of the tudors okay end of the tudors no more tudors that was it when liz died uh the tudors uh died and that and that was the end of the tudors so there we go we're in we're in enough groups now uh anybody else just want to share it in groups dave clearbury hi good to see you Trish Willits, hello my darling, lovely to see you. Um, Dave Cleary, great to have folks like me around at these times. Nibsy, good to see you. You'll never guess what I've got. Look at these. It's like Michael, it's like a monk. Michael Jackson, isn't it? <laughs> Shambon. Anyway, here we go, we'll give him a ding for that. Anyway, what happens is, I'm just going to give a few people a few waves, special people that mean a lot to me. Anyway, here we go. So... History lesson is this. Queen Elizabeth I dies on this day in history. Now, Queen Elizabeth I, Trish Willett, stay watching because this is very important for you. Queen Elizabeth I was not a lover of Coventry, it has to be said. She wasn't really enamoured with Coventry like I am. Good evening, Jules. Lovely to see you. She wasn't really enamoured with Coventry like I am, the deep fat fryer. So, Queen Elizabeth I made only one visit to Coventry in her life. It's the original hat and it's the original brown um, outfit tonight. She made Evening James. Good to see you, my brother. Um, yes, it's coronavirus gloves. Uh, anyway, what happens is she only made one visit to Coventry and the visit that she made to Coventry, um, she came to Coventry and it was in the August of 1565 that she came to Coventry. And she came to Coventry via Bishopsgate. Now, Bishopsgate is where the old Bishopsgate post office used to be. And she came down the Bishopsgate. Crossed, obviously the ring road wasn't there then. She crossed over where it says Canal Basin um, most of the time. She came down there. John Throckmorton went and met her. Hello, my queen, he says. And she's like, all right, John, get on with it. Yeah, show me Coventry. So John says, welcome to Coventry. It's not as big a city as it used to be, and it's not as wealthy as it used to be. But if we make our way down Bishop Street, where the post office used to be, past where the Parsons' nose used to be, and at the very, very bottom, there is the old grammar school. Now, the old grammar school was the second home of King Henry VIII, who was her father. So she's like, show me where my dad's place is then. So they took her in and they showed her around the old grammar school on the one visit that she came to Coventry. She then gave them a purse like this with her gloves. Hello, Steve Phillips. Steve, I'm so sorry to hear um, the news, but I'm sorry to hear, mate. I'll, I'll contact you afterwards. Um, so she gives them a purse and says, here is a purse of money. Because um, obviously everyone knows she speaks like that. Here is a purse of money. Please look after this school and preserve it for all time. Now, the good news is the church, which is at the bottom of the Burgess and the bottom of Corporation Street and at the bottom of Hale Street and at the bottom of Bishop Street. The church is now being managed by the Historic Coventry Trust, the Culture Trust 
and the Coventry City Business Improvement District. So they now look after the church and I don't think it'll ever fall into disrepair ever again. So what happens is she goes there. Then next they take Queen Elizabeth up the Burgess. So she goes past McDonald's, past Club Release um, and she gets up to Cross Cheaping. Hello Wayne, <laughs> where Wayne is often at Cross Cheaping. She gets up to Cross Cheaping. There, what they do, obviously there is no Primark. There is no Primarni. There is no Owen Owen. There is no Alders. They take her up into Broadgate where the crowds are all waiting and they're like, way, way. Queen Elizabeth I, yay. And what happens is she then goes down the High Street, um, down Earl Street and makes her way along. Hello, Mike Turbitt. Good to see you. Mike, look at these. Great, are they? So what happens is um, she makes her way down Much Park Street. And at the bottom of Much Park Street, where the old toy museum is, that was the gatehouse to the Whitefriars Monastery. She then went down there, but it wasn't the Whitefriars Monastery then, because they'd all been kicked out, they'd all been dissolved by her dad. It was actually Hale's place, and John Hale's used to look after it, which is where Hale Street comes from. Anyway, she goes and stays there for two nights with John Hales, and I don't know what went on. But, yeah, we don't know. Separate rooms, of course. Separate rooms, I'm sure. Anyway, what happens is, legend has it that she waved from the Oriel window. Okay, and often we have to say to kids, it's not the Oreo window, kids. It's the Oriel window, kids. And legend has it that she waved from there. And she, two days later, she is taken up to Spon Street where she's given a, a pageant, a, a, a play. Hello, Simon McCarthy. Uh, thank you very much, Dave Clearbury. Um, what happens is she's given a mystery play. We were really good at mystery plays in Coventry. And all the different guilds would... This, this wig is so hot, I tell you. It's... Oh, there you go. That's better. All the, all the different... The other one's a lot better. Oh, it's like your nan's tights. All the other mystery plays were performed. So she had four mystery plays that were performed and they all tried to outdo each other. So the weavers did a mystery play and the, the wheel tappers and shunters did a mystery play and the guild did a mystery play. Every day is a school day, Dave. That's what the deep fat fryer says. Every day is a school day. They all do the mystery plays. She goes off to Kenilworth, gets to Kenilworth and you know, she's like most people, isn't she? She's like, oh, this is a bit of me, this. I'll, I'll stay here in Kenilworth Castle rather than going to Coventry. And, and, and so that's it. But that is not where our Queen Elizabeth the first story ends. Because Queen Elizabeth had a cousin, and her cousin was Scottish, and her name was Mary. And what Queen Elizabeth did was she was that impressed with Coventry. Hi, Ambry. She was that impressed with Coventry, she arranged for her cousin to come and have a timeshare here. So it was kind of like she arranged for a cousin, even in Maggie Robinson, my old boss, love you, yeah, God bless you. <laughs> she, what happened was she arranged for her cousin to come and stay here uh, in a sort of timeshare type of arrangement. Uh, and what happened was she basically needed to get her hidden. She needed to get Mary Queen of Scots hidden, right? So what she did was she says, right, send her to Coventry. I want you to hide her somewhere. And what happened was they didn't quite have a house set up for her. So she actually ended up staying at the Black Bull Inn. Hello, Harvey Gill. Good to see you, sir. She ended up at the Black Bull Inn. Now, what you need to know is the Black Bull Inn, OK, was situated where the barracks car park is. So basically, Mary Queen of Scots was put up at a car park. But the Black Bull Inn was one of the finest, finest medieval inns. But everybody could see her. And Elizabeth, hello quirky, Elizabeth, <laughs> like the gloves, Elizabeth wanted her hidden. So she gets on to the people and says, you need to get her hidden. You must have somewhere decent in Coventry for her to stay. And they said, well, what about Caesar's Tower? Uh, we'll take her to St Mary's Guildhall and we'll put her up in Caesar's Tower. Um, and it wasn't like Caesar's Palace, it was Caesar's Tower. And uh, they, where well, they served Caesar's Salad, obviously. Um, they didn't, I just made that bit up. She, anyway, she stayed there, right? But here's the thing, right? If you ever go and have a tour of St Mary's Guildhall, what they will say is there is a room with a little door. And they will say that in order to get 
Um, thank you very much indeed, Dave. In order to get... Yeah, hello, Ross. In order to get Mary, Queen of Scots, to bow down to Queen Elizabeth, they say that they lowered the door and so that when she went in, she had to do that. She had to do that. And they say that she went in like this and she went in she went in backwards that's what they say that she went in backwards now i've had a chat with my mate dave clearbury uh, not dave clearbury i've had a chat with my mate dave mcgory who wrote a history of coventry which is the finest book you'll ever learn uh, ever read if you, you can pick up a copy um and dave mcgory says no 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 she was she was actually put up in the mayoress's parlor and so she was in the mayoress's parlor that's where she was kept while she was in Coventry. As I say, it's kind of like a timeshare. Um, and she was here for a while. And 400 men, I've got to take this off, it's roasting. Um, 400 men guided her. And oh, it doesn't look right, does it? Um, I look like Russell Crowe. Anyway, what happens is they, they she's put up there uh, for a while. Then she's taken away. And obviously, what? Well, yeah, there you go. And uh, what happens is she, she she's then taken away. But she was put up in Coventry by Queen Elizabeth I, her cousin, who had only come to Coventry once, yeah? Obviously, she hadn't seen the delights of the city. She only came once for two days. She stayed a weekender, a uh, weekend offender, more like. And uh, she stayed here for two days. And uh, she died on this day, today, the, the 20, 20, 20, 24th of March, uh, 1603, it was the end of the Tudors, the Tudors had finished, and to be honest with you, I'm delighted the Tudors have finished, because I find them dull, um, I'm a medievalist, and I like the medieval uh, era, and the Anglo-Saxon era, more than the Tudor era, but I have to do the Tudor era in order to cover country, so that's it from me, that's today's little history lesson, thank you, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed sharing it, thank you very much Mickey Quirk for the thumbs up, Thumbs up for you, son, in me, in me, what's the name? In me coronavirus gloves, don't you love them? Yeah, it's like Michael Jackson, isn't it? <laughs> Shall Um, So that's today's history lesson. Share it with your friends. Comment. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for beating Emma Dale, uh, Dave Clearbury, my old pal. Um, last time I checked, we are still top of the league. The adverts are on now. That's great. Last time we're still top of the league. So uh, this is on my Paul Curtis page, but I'm going to share this out onto my Deep Fat Fryer page. If you are not following the Deep Fat Fryer page, uh, I share a daily history thing there every morning um, about history in general. And every now and again, I try and make it Coventry related or somehow form the link back into Coventry uh, because, you know, we are the city of culture uh, in 2021 and we're 280-odd days away from becoming the next UK city of culture. So there you go. Uh, I always try and link it uh, to that. Michael, always a pleasure to see you, sir. You stay safe. Yeah. All right. Wax on. Wax on. Wax off. Yeah. Sensei. And uh, you lot stay safe. Look after each other. Uh, care for one another. Uh, check in on people. See how people are doing. And just give people the odd FaceTime call and what have you, especially if you haven't heard from people. And just check on they are. Uh, and see how they are, etc. And that's it. So it's good night from me. Or it's God bless you, my child, from me. Uh, in my original, my original outfit that I first started doing my tours on with the original wig. Um, outfit cost me twenty one pounds to start my original tour. Um, good night from me. Have a a, a great evening. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much, Dave. Appreciate that, pal. Um, and I'll keep sharing them while people keep watching them. And if people keep watching them and commenting and enjoying, I'll keep doing it. Um, because it beats the telly and it beats talking about that thing that they're all talking about on the telly, you know. Um, so love yous all and uh, play up Sky Blues and uh, I'll give you a little dingling. I might, I might, I might do one with my town crier outfit on rather than my deep fat fryer outfit because uh, we've done the deep fat fryer for three days now. So I might, I might do a town crier one uh, with me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and we'll see how that goes. But love yous all. Stay safe. Call your mum and dad if they're still with us. Tell them you love them. Call your brothers and sisters. Tell them you love them. Uh, and obviously your kids. Yeah, you know. Uh, tell them you love them as well. As John, as my mate John Gaunt would say. So take care. Enjoy the telly, whatever's on next. And we'll see you tomorrow evening. All right. God bless. Bye.